Choices, chance, fate. The line that separates love from desire and need from desperation is the line that decides our fate. Live it up, rock star. This may be your only shining moment. You're not things you call feet. My feet don't stink. Here, dude, smoke some of this. You won't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you smoke this Mexican crap, Trav. Dude, do you realize we're halfway there? Woo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> man, are our lives going to be different after the show? Chicks abound. At least we'll be able to get some better shit. I got a piss. Pull up alongside Jake. Dude, I'm good, but I'm not that good. Your funeral. That's me. We just stopped an hour ago. You can't wait. Just as sweet as dark molasses. Mm. She's passing through, though. Mm, probably for the best. Mm. They seem kind of sad, though. You know, it's cute and all, but I don't know, kind of the quiet type. <laughs> Honey, ain't they all? I suppose. Almost there, dude. We'll be there a lot sooner if we can have to stop every hour to take a piss. You think we'll make it by tonight? It's at least two more days, man. Don't you read a map? You're the captain of this ship. Where you lead, I follow. Yeah, all right. Watch this. Ah! Shit! 
Ray! <laughs> Jesus, don't do that. What's this? Hey, give it back. Oh, give come it back. on. This could be the stuff of greatness. Don't patronize me. Loving a nun. Loving a gun, you idiot. That's what I said. Hey, tape this. No. Come on. I swear I'll give it back if you Ray, do. Ray, I swear. You always tape Jake, never me. Don't be such a baby. Come on, I'll give it back if you do. Good. Love and a gun. I wish I was one. Shoot my way to the moon. With a silver spoon, I'd feed my soul. But the sugar is dry in my empty bowl. Deep. Happy. <laughs> Where's mine? If I'm not your mama, go get your own. Hey, how's it going in there? Dude, if you want to switch rides, I know how she can get. If I can just get it to stop, have it to stop every 20 minutes, I'll be good. Shotgun. Dude, I'm eating. Dude, we're going on down the road. All right, we're leaving without you. Hey, Ray's not too good at the map. Just head west, right? Right? Yeah, right. Just don't be falling asleep at the road tonight if I haven't caught up. Who, me? Yeah, you. I know you've been smoking. Dust. You gonna piss or what? Chief, Billy, what's going on? Shorty. Got an anonymous tip that someone down here tonight. You want me to drive? No, I don't want to get lost. What's that supposed to mean? Not a joke. Just hope to catch up with Travis sometime soon. He couldn't find his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> so what you're gonna buy when you get rich and famous? We have to find a place first. That's in the bag. We just have to get there. But it's all gonna be easy. Nothing's ever that easy. Okay, just pretend you have lots of money. I already know what that feels like. Money's not everything, Jake. Don't get all self-righteous on me. I didn't see you running back to the trailer park I rescued you from. All right, Jake, you made your point. What I really want is to play some of my own stuff. Don't start. What? I'm a guitarist and writer. You're the lead singer. Raise the drummer. I know what everyone does, Jake. OK. Besides, our songs rock. Why mess with perfection? Maybe I have something I want to say, too. Give me that. You are the best singer I know. Yeah, but that's back at home. What if they don't get us in L.A.? What if the label discovers they've made a mistake? What if we don't get the record contract or the opening spot on tour? Then we're back to square one. Whatever. Just stick with me and you'll go far. Now what? Yeah, Billy, uh... Run back up to the truck and radio this in. Then give me some baggies out of the glove compartment. And don't step on anything. Yes, sir. Son of a... Are we screwed? How far back is that gas station you stopped at? How am I supposed to know? 
You're mad, girl. Look it up. Don't yell at me like this is my fault. If we hadn't stopped, we wouldn't have lost them. We'd be already in bed, instead of in the middle of freaking nowhere. I have a small bladder, okay? And besides, I didn't lose Ray's walkie-talkie. I don't even know where we are. It's probably like 200 miles back the other way. Well, it's not exactly rush hour out here, so what are we gonna do? So how long do you think it's gonna take before they figure out we're not coming? Not to mention how they're ever gonna find us. Remember Travis, paper bag? Coming or what? Who do you think could have done this, Chief? I don't know. I've got my suspicions. Let's wrap this up. Uh, Shorty going. We'll take care of her from here. you're doing I'm sorry but nobody answered can we just get a room <laughs> we don't rent by the hour here look uh, I know it's late but can we just please have a place for tonight how long you staying <laughs> hopefully not long look I know it ain't the Hilton but you get clean towels and a bed cool do you know if there's a garage near here yeah Tommy's place is it about a tow truck yep you're in 12. Don't think praying will help us get out of here any faster. Come on, baby. What's the matter? Hmm? Hey, we'll get the car fixed. Be out of here in no time. Where are we supposed to get the money? Trust, Annie. Gotta have a little faith in me. <sighs> Just leave it all up to me, okay? Vic, come on. What? It's like, it's too hot. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. Honey, it's been two days. Uh, come on. God. Where's he at? Where's who? That nigga. What room is he in, Nadine? What'd he do? Nadine. Police business. Okay, okay. He's in room 11. All right, come on, Billy. Quando horas in este apartamento, esta noche, estás? Toda la noche. Ah, toda la noche. Is anybody here? Hablo español. What's going on here? They're taking some black guy away, handcuffed him and everything. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the commotion, folks. Uh, uh, you here all night? Got here around um, two, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were with her the whole night? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
You folks just passing through, or...? Yeah, we just broke down outside of town and uh, lost the band members. We're headed for L.A. Oh, headed for your big break, huh? Well, you any good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. So, uh, what happened with the, uh, the guy? Oh, there was a rape and a murder tonight. And don't worry, though. We, we've got the guy. <laughs> that was quick. Well, it's a pretty small town. And I know pretty much everybody around here and everything that happens. Cool. Can I go back to bed now? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know him? Sorry? I said, do you know him? Oh, um, no. I, I've never seen him before. Well, you look a little shaky in there. I just, is there something you want to tell me? No. Oh, uh, by the way, there's a bar right next door. Uh, if you're stuck here for a while, you might want to pick up some playing time. Maybe I'll come down and check you out. So, um, this doesn't happen very often? No, no. Not much happens around here, and when it does, it, it gets pretty exciting. You know, I don't, um, think that rape and murder is a good reason to get excited over tonight. Derek. All right. Derek. 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 Tell me again where you were last night. Man, I already told you a thousand times. Yeah, and I've got a lot of witnesses that saw the girl come out of your motel room at 6 o'clock. Now, other than that, you don't have an alibi? I picked her up at a bar. That is still legal, right? <laughs> don't be cute with me, sir. We had a few drinks. You got her drunk. Look, don't twist my words. What happened then? We went back to my room. And that's where you had sex with her? Man, what I do on my own time is my own business. You coerced her. After she left the room, I didn't see her again. Get your facts straight, son. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this is all going to be over. <laughs> you mean the faster you lock me up, hmm? Look, man, I know what this is. I'm guilty because it's me, right? Hmm? <laughs> man, y'all need to give me a break. You've been watching too much Cops. The 60s are over. Oh, don't play the race card with me, son. It's Derek, and you already played it. Look, let's get one thing straight here. I don't like your kind. And I don't care whether you like it or not. The fact is, you are an outsider here. This is my town, my investigation, and my rules. And if you're going to sit there and call me a liar, well, then you're not quite as smart as I thought you were. Her name's Angela Baker. Yeah, that's right. You want to change your story? So what's wrong with it? You talk funny. Where are you from? Right. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming. Sorry, I overslept. Well, got some bad news for you. Your engine's blown. Oh. Yeah, you blew a gasket. It's gonna have to be replaced. I can order you the parts, but it's gonna take about a week. A week? Give or take. We don't have a week. Well, this car ain't exactly new, you know. But the good news is I can get you a refurbished engine for about, well, well how much is that refurbished engine going for? <coughs> Dog says about 1500 15 We don't have that kind of money, man. Well, then I guess you're going to be staying in town for a while. You sure it's the engine? No, man. Actually, it's just the windshield wipers. 
Look here, buddy. I, I, I've been around cars my whole entire life, and I don't need some city slicker coming up in my face and telling me what I do and what I don't know. What are we going to do? The gig's in less than a week. A gig? You all want a band or something? Guess you're going to have to sell a camera, huh? You could always call your parents and ask for the money. Hey, they cut me off because of you, remember? And we know we cannot call your parents, right? You see, we're kind of in a situation here. Yeah, yeah. Sure seems that way. But I don't know what you expect me to do about it. Look, um, what if you ordered the part and we got you the money when it was ready? <laughs> do I look stupid? <laughs> well, I... Look, um, what if uh, maybe I got a quick job and I could pay you as we go? Please. It, it's simple, really. It, you pay me the money, then I order you the part, and then you drive away. You see, honey, well, there's a will. There is a way. Nice philosophy. You make that up yourself, Einstein. Hey, listen here, buddy. That bar we heard about, you think we could book some gigs and pay you from that? Well, that's a real bright idea. You know, I hear uh, Justin Lee's sister owns that bar, and the diner down the road, they're hiring. Why don't you go do that, and I'll go book us some gigs? Hey, wait a minute. Who said I was a waitress? You go work at the diner, and I'll book the gigs. You got us into this. I don't believe this. Well, then, I guess I'll be seeing you around, huh, sister? Chasing women. As far as women goes, once you get past the smell, you got a lick. <laughs> hey, so how'd you do? We got some gigs. Um, we're gonna get the door, a percent of the liquor sales. So, uh, how are we gonna do this about the guys? Acoustic, I guess. Good thing you brought the guitar, huh? At least I did something, right? Mm -hmm. Did you get the diner job? <laughs> Laugh now, you jerk. Suit? So cute. Mm, I'll remember you said that. Man. Oh, hey, Nadine. Hi. Hi, Wiley. How, how's your day going? Oh, yeah. Well, it's a bit better. Uh, Nadine, I just want to let you know that uh, Derek is going to be uh, staying here a little while longer until we get this whole thing sorted out. And would you keep an eye on him for me? I mean, nothing serious, because uh, Billy will be coming around a lot, and... Well, if anything happens, just... just give me a call, will you? Sure. I'll let you know if I see anything suspicious. Thanks, Nadine. Are you all right, Nadine? Oh, me? <laughs> sure. Never been better. It's gonna be another hot one today. Yeah. Look, I'll best be getting back. I, I got a lot going on today. All right. Now, you call me, though. I will. <laughs> All right, give me your keys and your wallet. I need money and an ID, man. Yeah. Take a look at this. What? Someone must have kissed major ass. What are you talking about? That black guy is free.
Hey, how you doing? Just, uh, just passing by one, two. You're a jerk. Well, I'm the jerk. I'm not the one over there grooming myself like a bitch in heat. Get out of the way. Move. Why'd you say that about me? Because ever since you saw him, you've been acting strange, and I think it's because you like him. <sighs> so now, I have to teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh! Stop it, stop it! Party's over, Jake. Come on, let me beg for it. Just get off me. Please? No, I'm serious. Quit playing around. What's the matter with you? Just get off me. <laughs> I'm... Hey, I heard you guys are going to L.A. Yeah, we're trying to get there. I sure would like to go to L.A. I've never been there myself. Yeah, it should be fun. When you get there, come check me out. I'm gonna be famous. Cool. Hey, listen, this is stupid. I see a fork in the road. I see some opposition in your way. <laughs> is it female? Ah. <laughs> mm. mm. <laughs> uh so in trouble with travel plans, and... <sighs> what? Money problems? <sighs> okay, I'll bite. So what's my fortune? What does it say in there? It says here that you're about to come into a great amount of money. All your problems will disappear. <laughs> come on. Fine. Okay, hold on. I just haven't had one of these done before, and I always thought they're fake. Or something. So how much am I going to get? Enough to make all your dreams come true. <laughs> 20 bucks. This whole thing? Just forget it. You want to be trapped in this place forever? Not one person in there cares whether I'm singing or not. Doesn't that bother you? We need that money. Here we go again. What? 
Do we have to have this conversation every single time? Yeah, until we get into that thick head of yours. Hey, no more of the self-involved crap, okay? The sooner we get the money, the sooner we get out of here. Okay? All I am is a meal ticket to you. <sighs> Whatever. You playing tonight? Uh-huh. You any good? Yeah. Oh, I know, because you wouldn't be playing at this fine establishment if you suck, right? You think it's a really good idea you should be talking to me? You're here, I'm here, we're both here, we're here. You don't. Aren't you under arrest for raping and murdering a woman? Yeah, I can see we understand each other. Okay. Let's say we start over. My name is Derek. See, now's the time you tell me your name and we can... Look, if this is gonna be some kind of pissing contest, you can tell me now so I can leave. We're gonna play what? Stick around, and I'll show you how it's done. How could you do what you did to me? I don't care anymore. All black and blue never hurt you. I don't care anymore. Shattered the reflection in the mirror, child. I don't care anymore. How could you do what you did to me? I don't fucking care anymore there man i can't believe y'all found her just laying there like that and shit yeah must have been pretty gross oh Gross and a waste. <laughs> I mean, she was fucking hot. <laughs> Can we please not talk about Angela? Please? Not only hot, but she was a screamer. Uh -huh. Tits, Tommy, uh -huh. ass, Tommy, uh -huh. please. <laughs> God, Lord. <laughs> You're so sensitive. You're like a little girl. Uh, <laughs> you know what, Tommy? What? We got to get revenge, man. Hell yeah. But, but the sheriff, the sheriff said. I don't care what that old man said. It, they got the right man. They just being all racially, politically correct and shit. <laughs> well, what what do you think we should do? Yeah, Tommy. Uh, what do you think we should do? <laughs> Beat the motherfucker. <laughs> old mama don't recognize him. That's right. Teach him a lesson. <laughs> Nobody comes to our town and does that. It's one of our own. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. You know. You want to avenge your sister's murder or what? Well, yeah, Tommy, but, well, then you stick with me and do as I tell you. <laughs> now, let's say we go and get ourselves another drink, because I hear there's a new band in town. Okay. Oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Retard. You're late. Again. Excuse me. Um, I know this is a really awkward situation and all, but I think you've got real star power. And if you're looking to get into a larger market, I think I can help. Excuse me. I've been sitting over here for the past 20 minutes. You want to talk business, you deal with me. And uh, shouldn't you be in jail or something? I think you're doing a good job of that yourself. Yeah, right. You print this up at a local Kinko's, right? Jake. We have a record deal. Really? Yep. Who with? Ironic records? You heard of them, right? Yes, I have. And if you know what I did, you get out before it's too late. It doesn't know shit. Stop trying to break up my bed and get my girl, man. Looks like you're doing a good job at yourself. What Thank the? You. Who the hell do you think you are? I just think I have more to offer. 
You don't know what she needs. Come on, Annie, let's go jam. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Here she goes now. I'll be the dream you can have if the money's not bad. You're free of my love, but don't make me sad. You know what I can do, and you know. Say, uh, you sound pretty good in there. You look real good, too. I bet you think you're a hot shit for this little town, huh? I, I really liked your song. Well, shut up, Shorty. I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah, we'll cut it out. I got a rep to protect here. <laughs> so it's a Annie Chase, huh? I can chase you. <laughs> <laughs> Couple brainiacs you guys are. Oh, now she speaks. So, uh, how long are you here for? Ask Garage Boy here. <laughs> so, I guess you guys must stay pretty bored around here. Not much to keep those minds of yours sharp. I'm guessing you guys don't get a lot of action around here. Well, what kind of action are you talking about? You know, just probably not a whole lot of things to do around here, that's all. Justin Lee and I can think of one thing. Oh, come on, guys, let's <laughs> go. Quit messing around. Oh! We got ourselves a firecracker. <laughs> you better be real nice to me now if you want that car of yours fixed. A bribe? Let's call it an opportunity. Hmm. You're not my type. So what is your type, sweet tip? Certainly not you two yicks. <laughs> and what is a yick? Dumb shits like you who don't know when no means no. <laughs> Hot bitches like you who keep turning me on with them ass kicks. Hey! Let it go. Where you been hiding at, boy? Justin Lee, not in my place. Or go find trouble somewhere else. Come on, Hey, Sam. I mean it. Or you'll have to deal with me first. There, yeah, Justin Lee. Better do what she says. She might have ended up sitting on both of us. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. You might not be so lucky next time. Say goodbye, girl. <laughs> you okay? Where the hell were you when I needed you? I'm not gonna run after you every time you throw a fit, if that's what you want. You Let's should, just get out of here, okay? You should take better care of your girl. Hey, I can take care of myself. Some bad elements around. Yeah, included. <laughs> I'm just saying she shouldn't be left alone. You know what? I'm sick of you walking around like you're kind of some pot or something. Jake. You ain't shit. Someone should put you back in your place. Hey, Dad, who the fuck would that be? I told you I didn't want no trouble. I didn't start this. Yeah? Well, I'm finishing it. You should have been there for me, that's all. When is it ever enough, Annie? Eyes wide as the moon is long Singing her to sleep A sleepy time song Fragile as the patient wind is soft She's hiding somewhere In a forest lost Come back to me With your smile so sweet Back into my arms Where I hearts meet. Come back to me with that lazy laugh you give. Back into this world, shine the light you live. Face like an angel in the sky. Smells of my child, I can't deny. Fragile as a broken stream Somewhere in heaven She watches me Come back to me 
with your smile so sweet back into my arms where our hearts meet come back to me with that lazy laugh you give back into this world shine the light you live hey i heard you playing in there it's beautiful I hope you don't mind. You write that? I think so, a while back. Did you ever pay attention to the sky just before a rainstorm? You know it's the storms that remind us that we're alive. You know, I, uh, I can't help noticing how nervous you get whenever Derek's around, and, uh, you tell me, uh, well, if there's anything you want to say about that, I, I just want you to know I'm listening. Maybe you just have to learn to trust people. Listen, if there's anything I can do, yeah, you let me know, huh? Okay. You know, uh, I guess you, you feel like you lost something. important thing is to know that you're the only one, the only one that has the power to get it back. Nobody's going to hand it to you. People are going to let you down. And the thing is, you can't let that stop you. You can't let it destroy your life. You can't. Well, then I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you tomorrow, Lacey. You ever feel like you were meant for something bigger than this life? Oh, yeah. I just can't remember what it was. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Poor thing. Lost his daughter in a car accident a while back. Drunk driver. Still blames himself. Can I get you anything else? A life. Where have you been? Look, I'm not stupid. I know what's going on. I don't know what's swirling around that head of yours, but you better get over it. <coughs> I've done everything for you. I bought you clothes, I fixed you up, I took you out of that trailer park. I might say mean things, but I never hurt you. And I've always been here. Don't you see what you're doing? To me? To yourself? To the band? This is our dream. Everything we've worked for. Not everything is about you, Jake. And you're screwing everything up because you're making everything be about you. You're hurting me. Let go. I hurt too. I'm 
was just guessing by just pissing it all away. Oh, you wouldn't even have gotten this far without me. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. I'm just sick of this fucking shit. I'm not gonna stick around anymore, you see. Did you hear what I'm saying, Addy? Can you hear me? Fuck Can you hear me? at me! Not until you tell me what you want! You <laughs> leave me alone. I should have left your selfish, starstruck diva ass back in Florida where you belong. Mm. Don't you want to be on Behind the Music someday, baby? This is good practice. <laughs>
Tell me what's going on here. We got jumped. By who? Thought you knew everyone in this town. All right, Billy, you stay here. You take a report. I'm gonna take a look around. All right, Chief. Shouldn't you be taking notes, officer? Nope. I got it all right here. Case solved. Can we go now? Well, whoever it was, they're gone now. Listen, you two better watch your own backs. We might not make it next time. If you need anything, you call me. Come on, Billy. Come on. Let's go take care of that. have to risk your life back there for me, you know? We'll call it even. Uh, I'm... I should go. I'm already late enough for work as is. But your lips still bleeding. Nah, it's good. Please don't. What did he do to you? You don't know anything about me. No, I know. But I, I'd like to. I want to help. I don't need Wait, that. wait, 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 wait. Look. I know we haven't met under the best of circumstances, but, I mean, I'd, I'd like to start over. I just don't think it's a good idea I should be here. Because of Jake? What's the story with you? Is he your boyfriend or your keeper? He's just close-minded, that's all. He can be a little jealous. I can take care of myself. That's my sister. I just buried her in Houston. I was on my way back to L.A. when this, this whole mess happened. Look, I'm not particularly proud of everything I've done, okay? But she was there, and, and I needed somebody. Don't look at me like that. That's, this is not who I am. Picking up strange women at bars and bringing back to your mother. Come on, give me a break. You know I'm not guilty of what they're accusing me of, otherwise you would not be standing there. Why should I care? Because you do. What's on your mind, Shorty? Shorty, come in here and sit down. You're making me dizzy. Uh, Sheriff, there's something I think you ought to know. Hey. Hey. What happened to you? Oh, um, I fell. So what's up? Hey, what took you guys so long? <laughs> Not like you were easy to find. Oh, how hard you try. Dude, we looked all over. Yeah, I figured you drove all the way to L.A. before you had to turn around and come back. Well... We're out of here. Go get your stuff. Well, what about the gig tonight? We don't need that anymore. Well, what about my car? We can't just leave it here. My daddy gave me that car. Yeah, and it's broken just like your daddy was. Besides, we have the van now. But we still owe two days at the motel. I mean, we could use the money for tonight to get, you know, back. I thought you wanted to get out of here. I just don't think it's cool to run out on anybody, that's all. She's an expert now. I just... I just thought that maybe, um... Maybe what? I, Spit it out, Annie. I... Maybe I could play some of my own stuff tonight. Fine. And we could get in a rehearsal and... Fine. Fine. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Long skies will wear short dreams. Blend your life for fancy things. Thought she knew you stand for. Need to start over a new rebirth. She came to town with big hopes on her mind. She came in with the fire. Please. Oh, poor thing. He's probably just hungry. What do you want? Why all the cloak and dagger? Please leave. Not until you tell me who you're hiding from. I see you looking out the window, pretending you don't speak English. What gives? My name is Mariella, and this is Hector. He's allergic to milk, and I got no money for food. My last 20 bucks went to that pinche cabrona gypsy lady.
I've seen you up at the bar. You're really good. Thanks. I haven't seen you, though. I kind of stay in the back in the dark. Well, you take care of yourself walking around here. There's some bad elements, and you don't want to end up like that girl. I know what happened that night. But you're going to think I'm a horrible person. No, I won't. I changed my mind. <laughs> I left him out there. Alone, I left him there. I didn't want to be no mom, and I got no money, and I have no place to stay, and I got scared. Calm down. <laughs> so please. He's all I got. Mariel, please. What? What? I saw what happened to that girl, Angela. Second. Don't tell me to shut up. Now help me up. Uh, Tommy. Uh, mm. Tommy, stop it. Oh, come on. Come out, come out, wherever you Tommy, are, baby. I'm not playing anymore. Well, I told you not to run. Uh, look, just, just take me home. Come on, Angel. Stop being all paranoid. I ain't doing nothing here. I just want what you gave that new friend of yours, that's all. You know what? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, now come on, Ange. I saw you coming out of his room, hair all fucking messed up and shit. Look, Tommy, me like a fool. Nothing happened. Like hell it didn't. Oh, don't be so jealous. Where are you going? Fuck you, you bastard! Oh, so now I'm a bastard, huh? What does that make you? Some nigger loving slut? Shut up, Tommy! Just shut up! Oh. Now look what you did! Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. You don't. Tommy! Stop! Tommy! Stop it! witness something like that and just let him get away with it. He will find me. The cops will protect you. Do you not see If it? I go to the cops, they will start asking all kinds of questions. They will take little Hector away from me. I know it's not easy, but you have it's to... It's easy for you, but this is my life we're talking about. No, but I know what it's like to be constantly looking over your shoulder your entire life. To be alone and scared. To keep a deep, dark secret your whole life and watch it slowly destroy you. If you don't stop running now, you never will. Shadow play on my wall. Struggle to find the meaning of it all. Conversations with myself lead to anxious wonder.
the rest of the gear. Your boys already came around early this morning. What's up, Wiley? Stay out of this, Lacey. Get out of here, Andy. Where you been hiding yourself, Tommy? Hadn't been hiding, Chief. 
sitting here drinking my beer. Missed it, that nigga Rob. You boys uh, got something you want to tell us? Where do you think you're going, shorty? in your shadow of perceived greatness, okay? Hey, I work just as hard, so don't give me that sorry-ass guilt trip. It's not gonna work with me this time. Whatever. Jake, I don't have any money, no car. How am I supposed to get to L.A.? Why don't you ask Derek? time you read this letter, but I want to thank you for giving me the courage to do the right thing. But I did not get a chance to tell you what else happened that night. Could you, Angela? Well, how can I work? You had so many choices. I gave you so many chances. Shorty? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I saw you at the motel. I saw you come out of that black fella's room. Oh, gosh, Shorty. Look, now is not the time. And I was mad about that. No, but... Oh, you're so beautiful, Angela. And there ain't no man in this town that's good enough for you. There ain't. You're gonna be something, Angela. And I gave you everything. Sorry. Look, can't you see that I'm hurt here? Okay, can't we talk about this some other time? Can't you see that you really hurt me? Can't you see that? Shorty, look, you, you're making a big deal out of nothing. Tommy was my best friend. How could you? Look, do you think that I wanted that to happen to me? Then why did you come down here with him, huh? I followed you from the bar. If you want another that happen, then why did you come down here with him? Shorty, look, I did not ask for that. Jesus Christ! Get a grip on yourself! Please, 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 no, no! Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. I love you, I love you. I've always loved you, and you ain't never loved me back. And now, now, now I don't love you no more. Thank 
Billy! Billy! You stay here and you keep an eye on him. You keep your eyes forward. Why don't you keep your eyes forward? You keep your goddamn stuttering mouth shut next time. So I guess she uh, told you everything, huh? Oh, yeah. We pressed them on the uh, evidence we got back from forensics. Eh? They started pointing the finger at each other, so... They were able to trace that 911 call back to Shorty. And Tommy, he should have been locked up a long time ago. It's good for nothing. Well, then I guess you got this whole town wrapped up on a string, then, huh? Yeah, we've done all right. You're pretty much a good luck charm for us. You know, you're welcome to stay around here. Rent free, of course. Or... But, uh, yeah, you want to get back to your life. Thanks. Yeah, I think you're gonna do just fine. I got a feeling about these things. It's strange, but uh, brings people together, isn't it? <laughs> Does this mean I'm off the hook? It means that uh, I believe you're owed an apology. You don't have to apologize for me. No. I didn't mean for that. I'm the one who needs to apologize. I'm sorry. You take care of yourself there. You do what? There's nothing for miles. Oh, I'll figure out something. Are you always a stubborn? for the best. What am I supposed to do now? All that work for nothing. I wouldn't say that. I can help you. Oh, I'm not a charity case. Oh, I, I give record deals to every stranded singer I meet, right? Man, you've got so much talent, and, and, and everyone sees it but you. You're going to have to trust me. Look, all I'm offering is a chance. The rest is up to you to make it happen. Choices, chance, fate. The line that separates love from desire and need from desperation is the line that decides our fate. The trouble is knowing which one to cross.